All right guys, so today we're sitting in the interior of the coupe and I'm gonna be doing a product review on this Adams Polishes Odor Bomb. So stay tuned till the end of the video. We'll see how it works. Let's get started. All right, so since picking up this coupe, we've done the carpet, we've done the new headliner and the steering wheel. But ever since we got it, it's had this weird smell that kind of smells just like a car from the 90s would most likely smell. And using this product, I'm hoping to get rid of that and just have it smell like a fresh, clean car without really having any scent possible. Because I know this even eliminates with new cars, it gets rid of the new car smell. So with doing this, hopefully I get rid of that old dated smell and then we could put in an air freshener or something like that just so it's a little bit more comfortable while driving it. So getting started with this process, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and spray and wipe down the entire dash, just get rid of a lot of the dust and buildup that's happened over the last month or two. And then once all that's done, we'll vacuum everything out, get it as clean as possible. And then we'll set this, and I believe it has to sit for about eight hours and then we'll come back and see what the result is like. Also, when we first picked up this car, when we did the carpet, we already sprayed and wiped down everything underneath. So we're not gonna do that again. But I believe a big area of this car that's kind of contributing to the smell is in the trunk, specifically where the spare tire sits. When I first picked it up, the spare tire was kind of thrown in there and there was like a bag of fertilizer just spilled into the back area of the trunk. At the time, I cleaned it as best as I could with just a microfiber and a spray, but today we're gonna bust out the steam cleaner and really get that as clean as we possibly can. All right, so right here I just have some all-purpose cleaner, a microfiber, and a brush to agitate it. And we're going to hit all these plastic pieces like the door cards, the dash, the center console. And then once all that's clean, we'll hit it with the vacuum. So as you guys just saw, we just vacuumed out this entire trunk, but there's still some white crusty stuck on stuff where the spare tire goes. So with that, I'm gonna spray a bunch of that all-purpose cleaner, let it saturate a little bit, and then we're gonna break out my steam cleaner, and hopefully it should just be able to lift that stuff right off the surface and we could get it out of there. I'm not even sure what this stuff is, but I'm sure it's contributing to that old nasty smell inside the car. <music> All right guys, so now that we got the full interior pretty much as clean as we possibly can get it with the amount of time that we put into it, we're gonna go ahead and set off this odor bomb. So the directions are like this. Step one, you're gonna pull off the safety foil seal and take out all the contents that are inside this container. Step two, you're gonna peel off the step two safety seal. Step three, you're gonna place the container on a flat surface or in the cup holder, open the step three activator, pull the safety seal slowly to avoid spilling, Pour into the center holes, liquid will go to bottom of container. This step is what's gonna activate the entire process. Step four, you're gonna close off the area and make sure that all the doors are locked so nothing could get into the car while it's being detoxified. In all caps, they also include everyone, including pets and children, need to be removed from the area. So this must be some serious stuff that you don't wanna be around, for sure. Uh, they also advise that you take a time processing sheet and write the time starting and ending and placed on the door or window. Step 5. After everything is done, carefully fill the container with water and pour the contents down the drain. The container is now safe to dispose. Then you're going to take an air freshener pad and put it in the area that has just been detoxified to rejuvenate the interior of the car. So we're going to go ahead and get this started and then we'll see you guys once the process is over. All right, so we just let the car sit with that for three hours. So now the activation process is complete. 
So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with water and then we'll be able to dispose of it and we'll see how it smells. So a couple days have passed since we first initially set off that odor bomb. I let a couple days go by just so I could give you guys my honest opinion and review of this product. And honestly, with wanting to get rid of the odors in the car, this product definitely helped out a ton. Overall, once the odor bomb was done and we disposed of it, there was a really strong chemical type smell in the interior of the car and it smelled a lot like chlorine in a swimming pool. And that definitely kind of bummed me out at first because I was like, oh man, my interior is just gonna smell like a swimming pool. And this basically replaced this one bad smell with another really strong bad smell. But after I threw an air freshener in, after letting it air out for a couple hours, the air freshener honestly got rid of that chlorine type smell almost immediately. After a couple days of letting the car sit, I still checked on the interior and it's still smelling just as great. None of that old smell has came back and the new smell is still just sitting exactly how it is. So overall with this product, I am pretty impressed, but definitely be cautious if you do use it because if you don't have something to use as an air freshener, your car is definitely gonna have this weird chemical type smell to it. So if you have any issues with the interior smell of your car like I did, this product is definitely gonna help you out. But definitely be sure to have an air freshener on hand because if you don't, you might be stuck with this weird chlorine smell in the interior of the car. But like I said, once you throw that air freshener in, it's all gone and it's a night and day difference with this interior. I know it's kind of a weird thing that the odor of the interior of the car was a big deal for me, but it definitely was and this product was definitely a huge help in fixing that. With all things taken into consideration, I would definitely recommend this product to anyone who's trying to solve an odor issue within the interior of their car. Whether you just picked up a car from someone who was a smoker or if there's mold on the interior and it's leaving some type of smell, this product will help you out 100%. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope that this tip is going to help some of you out. If you enjoy the content that I am producing, be sure to subscribe because we have some major things coming to the coop within the next couple of weeks. So you will not want to miss that. With all that being said, I will see you guys later.